Hey everyone, welcome back to another kind of get ready with me, but also I'm going to be trying some new stuff in this video. I recently got a, a few um, new boots, not everything is new, but also this video is kindly sponsored by Scentbird and I will be um, showing you guys a perfume that I got from them. Um, it's actually a really cool service. So here's the perfume, it comes in this little kind of... Um, pocket kind of thing sleeve but anyways I'm someone that's really picky on perfumes especially on the scent and I also get really bored easily so sometimes I I just have a bunch of perfumes that's laying on my desk and I don't ever reach for them because I'm just so bored of the scent so like for example I used to love black opium and now I barely touch it and I have a full-size bottle so I get really bored easily so when I heard about Scentbird I was just like oh my god this is such a cool idea it's kind of like a perf Oh, I just whacked myself on a lip. But anyways, <laughs> it's kind of like a perfume subscription service. You pay around $15 a month to kind of give a trial of a perfume that you think you might like. But instead of buying a full size, you're just going to get like a little um, vial that's actually quite a generous vial for the price. And you just get to try it first without paying the full price of like the full size bottle or anything like that. So they kind of explain it as like dating your perfume before committing to it. So you get like a little bottle that you can try out for a bit and if you don't like it, you didn't buy the full size bottle, you know? And every month you get to pick whatever you like. They have so many options on their website. Um, and you also get free shipping, which is always a plus for me. And also I do have a 30% off coupon code so you can get your first box for only $10, which is so good. Um, especially like if you I think it's just a bargain for those designer perfumes like that is such a bargain and yeah I will have my coupon code in the info box if you guys do want to check them out so the perfume that I got this month is a brand that I've never really tried before so that's another cool thing you get to try brands that you've you would never really go for it's called Derek Lamb 10 Crosby I've never heard of it but the reason why I chose this one is because when you go on the website they literally show you like all the specific notes and scents that are in the uh, perfume and this one has um, mostly apple in it and that is my most favorite scent like apple scents sweet scents vanilla scents I love that uh, I know there's not a lot of people out there that love sweet scents but I just love it so this one is the drunk on youth perfume and the main notes on it is apple and honeysuckle which is I mean it just sounded so good to me I get I think it's so cool that you get such so much product of such an expensive perfume to try out just for like $15 this perfume costs around 55 pounds and I think even more expensive in dollars right maybe right $65 if I'm not wrong I'm this is just estimation here but yeah I just love how you they explain the, the scent so specifically they give every single notes that there, there is in the perfume and I just love that and I really do like the scent of it it does come with a little sleeve and then you kind of like pop it out with your first box you do get a kind of case for your sprayer so you can keep that for your future purchases and if you want to like keep one of the sprays in your handbag you can just put it in your little case and then put it in your handbag it's just super convenient and you kind of just like pop it out and it comes in this spray bottle and you can repurchase these if you want to you know, I love it and it just smells so so nice like honestly it just is just beautiful and I'm going out so <sighs> obviously perfumes smell differently on everyone but I think I just love this one my little baby so yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. They do ship only in the US, so I wanted to share uh, this with my US following. The US is one of my biggest demographics on my channel, so yeah, I just wanted to do that. Don't forget, I will leave the link in the info box with the coupon code. It's a bargain, guys. And thank you to Scentbird for working with me on this video. Okay, now we're gonna go onto the face, and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty primers. I have the Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base Primer looks like this this is her original one and then she has a new one which is the matte perfection pre makeup base so this is what the pri the matte one looks like slightly smaller than the original one i love how her primer has like a pump but i'm gonna put a bit of this first just a pump i'm just gonna put this all over this is super hydrating by the way if you're wondering why there's so many Elephants and Ganesh and the Buddha behind me. It's just my mum's cabinet that she adores deeply. <laughs> and then we're gonna try the matte one, which has a very interesting kind of tube. This one comes out more like a gel. 
The only thing I have to say about the matte one is I don't know if I like the scent of it. But so far so good. You can definitely feel that tackiness. That's definitely a primer there. Next up I'm going to be using my Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Tahoe. I'm just going to blend this with my Beauty Blender. I can see my battery just flashing and I just can't bother to get the battery that's all the way over there. I'm so lazy, aren't I? I freaking love this foundation, but it is obviously quite dark for me. But because I'm tanned, it actually works. I'm going to be mixing two concealers from the NYX HD Photogenic Concealers. I have 06.7 and 06.5, but 06.7 is very, 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 like, yellowy. Very warm. So I kind of like to use the other one to kind of brighten it up. And I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and just blend that all out. This concealer is so good. And I do like to use the warmer one or around my mouth area. It just does the job really well. Kind of like conceals without making it go ashy or a bit like greyish around my mouth. Which I'm not about. Now I'm going to set, actually I'm just going to put a bit more of the lighter concealer on my lids. Now for powder I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Blondie. I do have a makeup bag and I actually keep Blondie and Canafa in my makeup bag for every day because I just change it up all the time. I mostly use um. Blondie around under my eyes and then Kunafa everywhere else, especially around my mouth and on my smile lines. So I just love both shades. I'm just going to brush all this powder off. So next up I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan, which looks like this. I have used this before but I recently received it. I really like that kind of like highlighted bronze look on the side so that's what I'm kind of trying to do. I'm also going to use some of this Hourglass Ambient Blush in Incandescent Electra. I kind of like to mix this into my bronzer. Okay I'm loving this base right now. So next up we're going to be using some highlight. I'm going to use this uh, Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Dream Glow Kit, and there are like very kind of unique shades in here, but I really like to go for this peach one and like mix it with this one right here. So I'm going to be using Regal, Regal and Wish. The only thing I have to say about this is that it's very kind of like sparkly compared to my other highlighters. But it's just so pretty. Alright, so now that the base is done, we're going to move on to the eyes, and I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty um, Electric Obsessions. This is like literally brand new, I've never used it. I'm going to use this pink right here. Just look at that pigment. My goodness. I'm going to take this colour right here. And kind of just blend that right underneath that pink. I'm just going to cut the crease in that center. On the center, I'm going to use this shade right here. Now I'm just going to put that deep colour on either side. When you mix it with the pink, it kind of becomes like a purple. So I did recently receive some of the new 
Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows by Hourglass, and I think I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on the center. I think I'm gonna use Smoke because it's more of like a cool tone color, and I think it will just go better with this look. Look how stunning that is. That's just so beautiful. And literally, I'm just gonna pop this. Just on the center, just to give that extra oomph, you know? And just on the sides, I'm gonna touch up with that teal shade again, just to make sure everything is nicely blended. I'm then gonna pop some lashes on. I've got these lashes by, who are these from? Unicorn lashes, they're so cool. These are in the style strawberry shortcake. Okay, and just to make it blend, I'm gonna use my hourglass kind of, my hourglass caution mascara, which I freaking love and I'm using every day just to kind of blend the two together. All right, so I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've got both lashes on, actually really pretty and super fluffy, um, I'm gonna go onto my lower lash line and I'm just gonna buff know what color to go with i think i want to make it multicolored. just going with this bright coral shade right here and i'm going to go in with that same dark shade very close to the lash line right now i'm just putting the same hourglass mascara on my lower lashes then finally, I got these new NYX Cosmetics Glitter Lip Lingerie. They have like new ones. They had the glitter, the shimmer, and then the regular glosses. But I am so obsessed with the glitter one. So today I'm going to be using the Sable one. And I'm just going to pop that all over my lips. Alright, since it is a little bit light, I'm going to use some of my NYX lip liner in brown. Alright guys, so that's the end of this kind of get ready with me trying new makeup video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to check out Scentbird if you think you might be interested in perfumes or if you're just a perfume junkie, then yeah, it might be for you. So... I'm going to head off guys, I love you so much and I will see you in my next one.